What's up, Pokemon fans? Mega Teddy Ursa here, and today we have a brand new episode of Creepy Pokemon. As requested in the past by many, I decided to dive deeper into the story and legends of the Pokemon Hypno, the Dream Eater. <laughs> Before we get into this, I would like to warn everyone, the evidence and reports from the Pokemon world may shock you. Viewer discretion is advised. Whenever I have made creepy Pokemon videos in the past, the dark legends of Pokemon would take a lot of digging and learning about the Pokemon in order to deliver solid information. In Hypno's case, I found its dark side almost immediately and was amazed at what I saw. On Bulbapedia, even the biology description of this Pokemon was creepy. Under the physical description of Hypno, a paragraph described Hypno's dark side. Hypno is able to put people to sleep. It can then sense the dreams the victim is having, so it knows what kind of dream it would be eating. It is known to reside away from humans and on less traveled roads. If anyone comes by, Hypno will hypnotize them and eat their dreams. It prefers the dreams of children and is even known to have stolen a child at one point. While it awaits its prey, it polishes its pendulum. Are you kidding me? That's what this thing does on its free time? Polishes a pendulum. Nothing about this Pokemon's existence is right. I would feel like a bad person condoning this behavior. I'm done. Never again, I'm never catching a Hypno again. I'm never. There were also some major Pokedex entries that stood out to me. One even spoke of the reports of Hypno luring children away. This was not the only account. There were many others and one account that is very well known. But there are still some things that I think you should know before we get into that. In Chinese folklore, there is a legend about a Japanese dream eater. Its name was Baku. Baku has a direct correlation to Hypno. It would devour dreams and nightmares of children throughout Japan. It was feared greatly by many throughout the 14th and 15th century. Just like Hypno, it was described as a shy creature that stayed away from humans. It lives off the nightmares of children that are unlucky enough to get stuck in its hypnosis. An interesting fact I saw was that children would actually call on Baku to eat their nightmares so they could sleep peacefully. It would, however, work the first time called upon, but it was only to gain the child's trust. If he remained hungry, Baku may also devour their hopes and desires as well, leaving the children empty for eternity. Man, that is just creepy. I don't care what you're helping me with, the last thing I would trust you with is eating my nightmare. Nothing can eat my nightmare. I mean, these kids got bigger Voltorbs than me if you get what I'm saying. Damn. A major of Count of Hypno's Dark Side was in the first season of the anime, in an episode called Hypno's Nap Time, in Hop 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 Town. No joke, there's a place called Hop 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 Town. Look it up, just go with it here. You can look it up later. In the episode, Hypno and Drowsy were being used to help the people of the town with their sleeping problems. Something wasn't right though. During this process, children started acting strange, and one even disappeared. It turned out that the sleep wave sent out by Hypno was eating all the dreams of the children in the town and draining their energy. Drowsy was able to make it stop, but what if Drowsy was not there? The only thing that has been kept out of all of these tales of Hypno luring children away is what happens after. Certainly there have been cases where Drowsy did not save the child. What happens then? Will Hypno devour the child's dream until nothing's left? Or does Hypno keep the child forever as a slave to its own hunger? Maybe there is places such as farms, where multiple sources of dreams are used as food. Or is it something even deeper and darker? As of now, I will let you wonder what happens. Leave your opinion in the comment section below. It would be awesome to hear what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Creepy Pokemon. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe.
Until next time, my friends, take it easy. Peace out.